Hello, everybody. Welcome to another edition of the SeerCast. I am Epi Knight, or I'm Caroline, or I'm Kerrigan, depending oh, on yes, where you, you know me. Okay. And I'm here today with Cherokee. Welcome back, adventurer. Oh dear. <laughs> oh <Yeah>. dear. <laughs> Gina? Nope, just nope, and, uh, and it's just some <laughs> efforts to this, but seriously, Zaro. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Gina's being a Zarub in another game. Uh, Lime? Uh, this is me. I'm amazing. <laughs> Kitten? The rage is absolutely real. Oh, it's, oh, it's real. And oh, we have Hablet. It's alive. And Walter in the chat. We may or may not get somebody else later on, but we'll see. Um, Let the rage flow through you. Yeah. So, yeah. on this on this episode, we are going to be talking about the stuff that happened in maybe the last half of July, a.k.a. Araxor. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> kid, kitten is ready. Kitten is ready to go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> no, I'm not. You know I'm not ready for this. <laughs> didn't ask for this. It's okay. Whoa, wait, the rest this of us is exactly are ready. Exactly what she said before Araxor came out. I didn't ask for this. <laughs> Walter says. Walter introduces himself with rage, rage, rage. Since rage. Um, rage, 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 rage. I'm rage leaf. Okay, but yeah. Rage. So we're going to talk about this stuff that happened the last half of July and the first, uh, well, and the BTS of August, which has a quest. Yay! 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 Quest. Huzzah, huzzah. We'll we'll, no we'll try and ignore the other rage stuff, at, except we're really bad at ignoring rage stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, before we get into rage inducing stuff, uh, there's a bunch of little things to mention that happened in July. Um, the Twitch integration did come out. I believe it works reasonably well now. Um, it is, before I say anything more about this, it is possible that Seercast could eventually use, make use of that. Depending on, depending on demand and interest. Um, it's heist. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> we still need to post that heist video, don't we? Um, no, now, now we're dating ourselves. <laughs> that's true. But, um, we really have to do it. but the, but doing but doing podcasts live is would be would be entertaining as well, and to have it up and to still have it fall back on YouTube would be nice. But I don't know. That's just something to think about. Um, maybe, maybe they could watch us rage at our exo. Oh dear. Orange. Oh dear. Oh, we found an orange. Yay! Hello. We found an orange. Okay. Hello, everybody. Orange. Okay. But yeah, so we did. So Twitch integration is a thing. Uh, Mod Dean has a thread up currently about quest bosses. Quest boss um, balancing, uh, I guess. They, they got wrecked. Yeah. Apparently. Yeah. Well, they got wrecked. We know already that most of the difficult bosses that used to be difficult are total jokes now. And then you have silly things like Tangle Root, which. Um, <laughs> are near impossible to kill, and Sigmund, which is just annoying as hell to kill, uh, but, yeah. Everything is broken. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's slow, like, you can just, I don't know if we ever saw where there was just, a, like, a, a second in-game where stuff started falling apart, but now we're seeing the effects. Yeah. Especially with, with Tangle Root, because that's really funny. I think there were numbers at some point, somewhere in the thread, but Walter posted it's in, um... Just to get the legacy mention out of the way, um, in yeah, EOC, and EOC, um, 5k life points. Ten, ten, yeah, Tangle Root has 5k life points. The, the weapon you gotta use, a second chore, however you say it, they hit, yeah, they hit for 56 life points, and in legacy it hits for <laughs> two. <laughs> <laughs> so if, if you have a couple hours to kill, go for it. You just AFK. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You just, you just click. It's like it's like training Zach in track. temple trekking. Yeah, yeah. The balance elemental is also half of a tangle root in terms of HP. And I was talking to Walter, and we kind of made a joke that balance elemental is really just like a fishbowl 
some water in it. There's the gravel and stuff. It has a prop torch and some seaweed crap. And then you always have the fish. <laughs> <laughs> That's the balance elemental. You got all the elements right there. You can smash the thing. <laughs> Whack. Don't forget, that is what Guthix left to balance uh, to guard the Stone of Jaws. Yeah, it, it is, left a it fish is there. the fishbowl yeah. of Jaws. We, we already yeah. know this. Yeah. The fish Absolutely. egg of Jaws, if you will. <laughs> Caviar. Yes. Well, that's why um, the Elder Gods want to eat the Anima Mundi. But yeah, he, uh, this was for, this was with Dean's live stream, correct? That's uh, what this Dave came from? Days has oh, apparently it's a thread right. or something like that. Mod days. Oh, oh, uh, oh, yeah. days. Yeah, yeah days, not I've Dean. I've been confusing days. them to the, the D. They do the same thing, letter, too. Letter D doesn't help. They do the same thing. Uh, but yeah, he, he one hit the boss of my haunted mine with an air blast. Please. <laughs> um, DT bosses are super underpowered. Low levels can easily beat all four stages of Karshai. I remember getting absolutely mauled by that. Yep. When oh, yeah. I did it yeah. the first time. You yeah. didn't have to win the last one. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Yeah. They made it optional. Yeah. <laughs> the, the idea was that you would die on the last one. Um, Basically, yeah. Uh, well, I, don't, I don't think Legacy was in any of their plans back then. Nomad, I mean, yeah. Nomad has many balancing issues too. Poor Nomad. Yeah. So that, that guy, I feel so bad for that guy. He was my favorite quest boss of all time. Like he was the one that was the most fun. It took me thirteen tries to kill kill him. Um, I'm just be quiet. Van Vanstrom, please. Well, there yeah. is Vanstrom, but. No, it's like Walter. Sorry, I'm interrupting. You're gonna go. <laughs> no, we're not going back to Vanstrom. I swear <laughs> that was like death. Never yeah, sure. Yeah. I, I, I DC death it. So. <laughs> but yeah, Nomad. Yeah, he's actually he's been glitchy ever since like. EOC. Think, yeah, really, ever since EOC. It was EOC, EOC there, yeah. There's a lot of shield abilities that you can just fire it and either you'll get hit through it or you won't get hit at all for the wrong reasons. So. Yeah, it's it's been weird. And then, yeah, two of his four specs are one-hit KOs. So that's yeah. always entertaining. The, the, the <laughs> yeah. thing about these old quest bosses is that they were never really uh, they were never really given a chance in EOC, and they would have done amazing in EOC. But now that they have Legacy, it just screws them again. Yeah. It's, it was, um, they were, it? yeah, they were never updated for EOC, which is a travesty. And when and they were, to be updated. and now that they're getting looked at again, it's not because of EOC. It's because people realize that it's broken, and now there's two combat systems to to fix them with, and it's just but, not gonna. It's like, ugh, it's two pretty, wrongs don't make a right. Nope, that is all I have to say. Anyways, yeah. moving on. Um, one, one, one last thing. One last thing. Uh, derpy cows got a whole lot derpier because some cows have two HP in Legacy. That's Ooh. clearly the biggest issue facing the game. Yeah, it's a bigger problem than a Raxor. Moo. <laughs> Moo. Moo. Absolutely. Okay. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, moving on. We also apparently the fight caves. <laughs> uh, yeah, that Suck. that happened. Um, <laughs> the fight caves has been broken because the level 360 puppies of doom, aka the Ketzex, <laughs> uh, they hit for several thousand damage now. Yeah. <laughs> Remember when they used to do that when you didn't pray? Well, now they do that when you do pray. Yeah. It, it's Oops. now all... like I'm all for making them hit harder, but I believe that is doing it wrong. Yeah, yeah. You don't you don't cake face that. That's just. <laughs> no, I'm not okay with that. <laughs> no, um, but yeah, so that so that that's a thing. Um, Dungeoneering is now well, broken again, bec or free to play Dungeoneering because well, it was never actually fixed, but the level the ninth, well, it was never fixed, and then it was never fixed. Derp, 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 derp. The, the level ninety to one thirty eight free to play dungeoneering XP nerf XP. I don't even want to know. I don't even know what to issue. call that. It's just an issue. Yeah, it's a problem. <laughs> it, it's so bad. It's not even funny. 
funny. It's like, why? Yeah. It's, it's literally a four-year-old thing that shouldn't have been in existence past six months after release. <laughs> When yeah, they yeah, release it's... Warped and um, Occult Floors. Yeah, it's incredible just seeing how little XP you get. Like, even... Cause I was recently dungeoning with a friend of mine who's free-to-play, and oh, it was hard admitting, like, dude, you're getting awful XP. And it is obvious. This... <laughs> mm-hmm. Ugh, it's... Yeah. Um, Mob Days does say they're finally looking into it, so... <laughs> As as Walter says, we can only hope that our ranting about this is still being a thing. About <laughs> this still being a thing has helped bring attention to how stupid it is. Um, apparently, Runebound Behemoth now prays Wolf, as he yes, should. Yes, he does. And is immune to summoning. Uh, it's not exactly a problem, because most of the damage summons do is from scrolls, and those are type damage, so... Yeah, it is funny because I have no idea how or why he activates or deactivates that prayer. Just drops sometimes. They, I'm not sure if that's because of ragers or it's just broken. No, I think it's because it's DG's Legina who's like randomly, okay, pray wolf. It's probably just <laughs> lol DG. That's, that is the, that is the answer to that. It's, do we, it's do okay, we think guys. it's... He's, he's just misclicking his prayers. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, absolutely. If you see him turn on Berserker, you know why. See, it's the kind of thing where, like, it, at some point in some weird quest, or maybe, like, someone can do a crazy art image of this, that you see him die, and then his head just pops open, and then some weird little monster comes out. I, I would I would say penguin, but I like to think they're smarter than that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's probably a spider. Probably, oh, it, yeah, it actually probably it's is. It's probably a spider. Dave. Um <laughs> Jeff. <Freaking> Dave. <laughs> Jeff, that's better. Dave, but it but it is Dave the spider. Anyways, yeah. um on the on our further LOL combat series here, um armor apparently is OP. Amazing. It's OP, apparently. Um this is well, reading straight from the thread. Armor is much less useful now than it used to be. Many players have switched to either no armor or the highest armor they can get that doesn't degrade to pay, avoid pay, paying degrade costs for little actual gain. Ports, necks, and 90 power gear still have use in certain situations. So, um, who said that, who again said that this recent combat update wasn't going to affect things? Who, uh, who was the Ma? Uh, who there was the a video. I think it was Mark that said talking. that. Well, that went I out the because I would like to slap them. Yeah, well, I I kept I think it was a video. I know there was some mod. I almost want to say it's Mark, but I never tracked down the video because I got lazy after five minutes. But they were saying, yeah, EOC is not going to be touched at all, almost word for word. It was like it's yeah. not going to be. Yeah, it probably was Mark because now that I remember that. But yeah, I remember Mark. <sighs> EOC has been kind of touched in bad places. Yes, it has been. That. It has been touched, and now it won't show us where it was touched on a doll. <laughs> it's just like, well, they put the doll, and it's like everywhere. Yes, just, like, that is everything. that is pretty much how it com- what it comes down to. And yeah. speaking of OP armor, we get to the best thing ever, <laughs> Void. Void knights That's are super apparent- good. Void Knights are apparently so amazing that they have to nerf themselves with their armor. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. So early in July, they offered an update to Pest Control, which we mentioned. Um, It allowed you to earn 1,200 accommodations to to update all of your Void armor. Um, This boosted the life points of the armor as well as the armor values. And then immediately thereafter, an update came out that removed the life point boost but kept the rest of the stats. Then an update happened that dramatically changed Void armor... And nerfed it heavily. Yeah. And then it was nerfed again when somebody realized they were taking more damage from QBD's firewalls while using Void. It was determined that for whatever reason, wearing Void makes you take 15% damage more from all sources. And then it was buffed to only be 5%. Yes. That's a buff. <laughs> Later, Mod Pie said they hot fixed it so you only take five percent more damage. Nerf only. Nerf, nerf. Yeah. It, it doesn't even. 
I think they ruined the point of calling it power armor or anything armor at this point. It's, it's not it's even like, armor. <laughs> yeah, it's just like what are you wearing? Kleenexes or something? No, it's it's <laughs> not well, even yeah. Yeah. like it's, <laughs> how how is it possible that you take more damage from wearing armor than from not wearing it? like that is that that is breaks that like a, all logic ever. It's made of lead paint. Void void armor made in China confirmed. (laughs) Oh my god. Made by spiders. So yeah, um rip pest control. Yeah, and the sad part, like what I I can't remember what the point per hour thing is, but pretty much getting all the stuff even out to like fifteen or so hours? Upgrading everything and getting all the rewards and nah, Walter and I wasted rip. our time. <laughs> rip in pepperonis. Yeah. All Ooh. right. Oh well. <laughs> well, since since we haven't had enough rage for this podcast yet, um. <laughs> oh wait, there will be a short intermission where we talk about plays in. Yeah. Oh yes, that's true, <laughs> but not yet. Uh, Araxor happened. <laughs> So, oh, yeah, that. I oh, believe yeah. I will let Kitten take over this one, because... <laughs> uh, I can start off by saying I I didn't kill it. I'm not good at it. I don't know how to kill it. Well, it's not that I don't know how. I know how. And it's just DPS and do your best to negate damage. And at that point, the the whole reasoning of it having so many mechanics just gets thrown out the window. Because it really is just a boss where it's still just kill it. You don't have to care about whatever it's doing at the time. Spam. Basically, yeah. On, on the bright side, though, bruisers bruisers are really good against it. But uh, yeah. But there are. I'll just. I'm just gonna go down the thread because it's pretty much everything I typed to Walter the night before. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> in an in an angry fit of sadness. In an but, angry yeah. fit of sadness. <laughs> it, it, yeah. Honestly, it's it. Uh, I'm not good at it, but yeah, there are numerous ways through the layer, and there are different attack patterns, and there are different things that spawn in all the different paths, craziness, and there is an anti-farming mechanic, which I think (laughs) is a little bit stupid, because the weapons drop in pieces anyway, but you can't get more than, like, maybe eight to nine kills a day, and that means if you're really freaking good at it. (laughs) So, it's... That implies that you can get any kills. Yeah, that that implies that you can even get a single kill, well, let have, like let alone have, get good. I have a very particular bone to pick, and that's it's kicking you while it's down with the gravestone mechanic. Oh, oh, <laughs> it yeah, is that's... like it is kicking Whoa. you while it's down. That is like why? Just why? Yeah, it basically just punishes. Like if you say you die from like a server crash or something bad, like your power goes out or something, and you have no actual way to go back on a computer and save your stuff. A spider can come in and attack your grave, and it kills it in, like, 13 minutes. Because they think it's funny. To be fair... So, where is where is this? Okay. Um, to be fair, this is a, quote-unquote, heavily nerfed version of the mechanic. Yeah. What did it do before? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, 13 minutes if blessed. I think it whittles down, like, 7 to 8 minutes if you're on, like, a 10-minute grave. I don't know. But it, it's ridiculous numbers. And it, What is the it, chance that it gets attacked by said spiders? Apparently uh, rel- relatively rare, but I've had it happen to me. So Yeah, I've had it happen, too. Munch, 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 munch. Yeah, it's... <laughs> munch, 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 munch. <laughs> yeah, it's literally... It just it just sits around and then smacks your grave, walks away, smacks it again, walks away, smacks it again. But, yeah. Yeah, the yeah. whole thing... Play- Players don't just get the weapons as a drop. You have to collect pieces of the spider's legs and all the body parts as rare drops. And it's the same method as the God Wars dungeon, but it doesn't work that well here. Um, Sounds like oh, it's yeah. the same method as um, Order of Ascension dungeon more Kinda, than yeah. more than yeah. God Wars dungeon because those are also yeah. untradeable. Yeah. And, I, yeah. I have yet to figure out why, how, or... If the gravestone spiders are even killable, because the first time I saw it, there was no attack option. You just sit there and watch someone's grave get eaten away. <laughs> nom nom nom. Yeah. But yeah, how yeah, I, how difficult is it to get to these graves? I assume it's not. It's not. You just go back to yeah. the lair, and there's another option to go to the graveyard. Yeah. So, yeah. It's not hard to get back to a grave, but it's 
punishing if you disconnect, even if it's an accident. So it's, it happens to happen to you, but yeah. And let's see. The weapons are the Noxious Scythe, Noxious Longbow, and Noxious Staff. Yay for scythes. Yes, and I, yeah. The, this is, like, yeah. Yeah, the only reason I tech. would, I would actually, I would do that, this for all three of those weapons though. Cause, yeah. it's a two-handed bow, which is great. Does it supply it its own a, arrows? Yeah. It um, it doesn't, arrows. uh, it has a certain ammunition for it, but it doesn't supply its own. It's okay. not like but a it's, crystal bow. It's like a arachsite arrows. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well then maybe, maybe I'll pass on the bow and just go with double, with double, um, ascension bows. But yeah, the yes. staff, I've wanted that thing for so long, and scythe, I've spammed about that in I don't know how many podcasts. So. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah the special right. attack is mirror back that takes 100% of your adrenaline and summons a spider that can reflect damage off you and take damage for you. So it basically like halves the damage. The example given on the wiki was like, if you get hit for an attack that's a thousand, 500 goes to you and 500 goes to the spider. The only problem is that the spider is killable. So. Ooh. <laughs> y- yeah. Ooh. And, yeah. And a wild Thorlaw has appeared. Just hey, in time. the Reaper. From the force of his of Dar. <laughs> well. So, essentially, the spider is just some extra HP for you. Mm-hmm. Kind of. It, it's sort of just yeah. a, like a buffer if you're really getting owned by something. If you're getting whacked. Unfortunately, he can also get whacked. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Dave the spider is obviously the best reward, since yeah, pets are really epic. Like- because Dave Osborne. and Steve and Lana and all these other cool spiders. And, yeah, you can gamble your drops to roughly maybe half your chance, or no, double your chance at getting, well, you have the fraction number. You double your chance at getting it, but it's very, very RNG and very, very sad, and you will be very angry when you see a one instead of the roll of zero. Uh, oh, that's, that's always a fun thing. Rip. But, yeah, there's... The boss fight itself, there's one free instance that is always full, obviously. You can watch, yeah. you can watch someone fight the spider in the first room, and then they run away horizontally and you can't follow them anymore. And That's then you have to pay, yeah, you have to pay 200,000 GP for an instance, and supplies, yeah, it, it basically, it's not worth it. If you're dying a lot, and you're just looking for one kill, no. <laughs> nope. Yeah. Don't, don't be me and think that you can just do it. <laughs> And yeah, Wait, this we haven't even talked about Araxi. We we're getting to the phases. Getting, I think the phases are next. Yeah. Um yeah, the phases blow my mind in just <laughs> Go go through uh, the phases one by one. Well, so there's phase one where it's basically just DPS and you're dodging a swipe sweep leg sweep attack, which is actually kind of fun, because now on day of release, I don't think that it was dodgeable, because you could escape from it and still take damage after you escaped, but it was kind of ridiculous and you couldn't really run from it. But For a few minutes when, there, I thought like all four of those, like, that was like four different attacks, and I was like, that is horribly unimaginative, four attacks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But luckily it's just one big sweep, but now you can run away from it, but if you have a familiar, oh yeah, it damages familiars. Whack. So the <laughs> yeah. fact that familiars, if you get dragged in and you're, if it's like a mage spawn and you're using range and you get pulled in and you run back away, the fact that familiars can run and they don't really stop correctly behind you, sometimes they get thrown too far and turn oh, around in yes. front of you. I've yeah. So yeah, so when you're running backwards, this even happens in a Fumbra's video where it just gets slapped and you don't. So you just see your poor yeah. yak, or in his case, poor bunyip, just nod its head and accept its big fat 4K hit. <laughs> they raise so much awareness for the rhinos. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, rhinos don't get hit by it, but that was their. I think the storage thing is ending soonish, or yeah. it already did end. Yeah. Probably next game update. I see. Yeah, yeah. So it's kind of like, well. Well, on the bright right side, now, save the rhinos. Yeah. Uh, yes, save Rhino. On the bright save side. Sorta. Now there's spiders. Yeah. Save the axe. Yeah, save the axe is next. 
Yeah, Baru Baru. <laughs> but, um, yeah, the battle, from what Walter says, the battle has too many attacks to go through all of them, but there are two worth noting. And there are one-hit KO spiders in later phases. And Yay. I, I, I skipped over one attack, which is a web cocoon, which actually is technically undodgeable because if you have Anticipate up, uh, it really just lessens the amount of time you spend stuck in it, so you still take pretty much a mandatory 600 damage from a couple ticks, which is fun. But yeah, first phase, it's fine. DPS, choose a path, which I think only two out of three are ever open in one given rotation. Yeah. So, so pick a path and have fun. And it's interesting because the I think the upper path is minions. So 20 minions throughout the phase will spawn and pretty much just kill them, DPS or Axor, rage increases, he gets super angry, stuff, bad things happen. If you duo, yeah. it's 40 minions. Oh boy. Yeah. Oh dear. Wow. Yeah, yeah. so it's, yeah. it's a little bit painful and sad sometimes. But yeah, so that's pretty much one. I have no idea what three looks like if you do one. Um, or two, but because I'm bad at it. But <laughs> the uh, second path the, uh, with the minions one does a uh, is are you is like a person able to generally handle the twenty minions like by themselves or yeah because you can like pretty pre yeah depending on the spawn for a Raxor, if you have a melee spawn it kind of sucks because you're running away from attacks but if you have a mage spawn and you're still Counting the five attack special, five attack special, five attack special. You could kind of ignore him and just kill the minions as they as they spawn in. But it's still kind of ridiculous. And there's an egg drop, which is really funny because if you're solo, you get hit for 300 minimum damage if you stand on all the eggs. If you're duoing, I think the damage minimum is like 1,600 something. What? <laughs> so it's <laughs> it's super not fair. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that but yeah. The male, makes the male sense. spider. Yeah, we, we wonder what the, like, as what Walter just said, I love how the male spider drops eggs, but it's the sort of thing, oh, like, we, we're kind of wondering, like, is Araxi just always doing stuff in the fight? But obviously that's not explained, because who cares? But, um, yeah, so that's fun. Phase, phase two at the, uh, middle, the middle path, uh, yeah, phase two, middle path is, um, a big acid lake and a bridge. And pretty much the the way you get through it, he starts spawning the egg drops and one hit KO spiders, which are fun. Yeah, like there's yeah, there's no animation for when you get touched by one. You just touch it and your character falls over and you're at zero yeah. HP and you're sad. Yeah, so. and bye full yak. Rip. Yeah, goodbye. Goodbye, all your brews, all your everything, all your. Yeah. On the bright brews. side, brews are useful now. Yeah, yeah, brews yeah. are great. Use brews Ooh, all the I time. I sold off mine a month ago. <laughs> Buy yep. the three doses back and make flasks and sell them again. <laughs> it's super good. But, yeah, so that's interesting. Apparently, the way you successfully do that, I did a good job at failing at it a couple times, but basically you make a Raxor sit in the acid and then you pull him up to the bridge and then it corrodes the bridge. And the bridge sometimes graphically glitches out and disappears. Nice. <laughs> so, so that's fun. I think we have a picture from that courtesy of Grar, which was it's funny. It's because your camera is also corroding. Yeah, yeah, the camera is also just crying at the fact that you're in an acid pit of spider goop. So <laughs> it's depressing. You're going to need then, more than one can of raid. Oh, yeah, you're going to need, like, a couple thousand water trucks full of raid. It's it's sad. <laughs> It's, but, a, it's yeah. a large spider. It is a yeah. big bug. Yeah, super big, stupid bug. <laughs> phase, oh, yeah, phase, yeah, phase two at the bottom path, which I got the farthest with. Um, the very bottom path is all basically like... I don't want to compare it to any game, but it's basically QTEs, where you wait around, you dot, you start prayer switching uh, melee... or No, what am I saying? Uh, mage and ranged, even if you're on a melee spawn, Araxor just goes up to the ceiling, and then you're dodging attacks, and you're getting egg drops and stuff like that, all there, and you're basically running to different locations, the room can turn dark, and there's a beam of light coming in, you have to stand on that, unless you want to be spammed with damage if you're waiting around. Then eventually you'll get a little 
box that fades away pretty quickly on your screen that says that Araxor is going to charge. And you have to continue waiting, continue waiting until he decides a cutscene happens and he runs at you, shows you a leg movement, and you have to dodge, you have to basically dodge the leg movement appropriately. And it's kind of confusing because it's counterintuitive, just because if his legs are pointing right to sweep left, you dodge right into the attack, technically. But it's it's weird. Sounds like Jimmy logic. Yeah, I think the first day it was released, left and right were bugged, because the game was telling me that I properly dodged the attack, but I still took the full 5,000 damage you take Ouch. for failing a dodge uh. entirely. Yeah, it's... And I don't understand how the, like, to me it's either like, okay, you dodge it or you don't. There's no somehow half dodging it, but apparently there's a function for taking 2,500 damage for kind of dodging it. I can see and, a difference. I can yeah. see a difference where, like, it, it grazes you as opposed to you just getting completely whacked. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Um, that, that happened to me once, but I just, like, press the direction randomly, so <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's funny, because you can control that with the arrow keys, and those, they come up on a screen, and the only indication you ever really get for doing it right, aside from waiting for the attack to play out, is one, I think, turns green when you did it well. But I only caught that for up and down, so I'm not sure if any of that is good, like, reliable or not. Don't yeah. listen to me. But um, Phase three? Uh, phase three, I only know it from going on the bottom path, which it turns into kind of like a hybrid of... I guess the two paths that were open because you get to phase three, you're in a much bigger area, you have more space to run around, and the room can turn dark and you get the beam of light that was from the bottom path, and then you, you get the one hit KO spiders that are from the middle path. And the fun thing is then you get the, the little regular acidic spiders that just kind of derp around the boss stage, nothing really happens um, with them until they're needed. And pretty much you can lure those to Araxor, make him, he'll absorb them, heal 5,000 life points, and it makes him acidic and stronger, basically. So the idea is that you DPS him down, lure the spiders to him, and then DPS him down again, and then the phase ends. And you go on to phase four. But a lot of, there's been an argument kind of about whether or not that's actually incorrect where you shouldn't be luring them to a Raxor, you should be luring them to yourself, but not to a Raxor, because the idea is that eating him eating the spiders signifies you failing or luring them incorrectly, but so the whole sort of the whole point of the boss is like nobody's a hundred percent sure on what most of the mechanics are. <laughs> yeah. Long story and, short, nobody knows what's going on. Yeah. But yeah, yeah there's, there's ways to get to phase four in in good shape or very bad shape. And I've managed to both ruin Phase 3 and Phase 4 for myself just from luring the spiders too early and then luring the spiders too late and just not doing it at all and seeing what happened. Because mm. there's a there's a lovely glitch on Phase 3 still where his HP bar can disappear. Yeah, it's nothing like QBD where you get this really nice permanent HP bar that tells you what phase you're on and stuff like that. That's, not, that's non-existent. You get the little lock-on thing over him, which is about probably barely a quarter the size of his leg, just above him. So that can disappear, so you can accidentally DPS him down, which what caused me to screw up that phase. And it just goes. You go right into the cutscene, even if you didn't lure any of the acidic spiders, or you only lured maybe one. You go into the last phase where Raxor gets squished by Araxi, who we're all kind of just calling his wife. <laughs> his so, wifey. Yeah, yeah. So the creepy Black Widow-esque spider comes in. And then you're basically fighting Jad Corp Rise of the Six on steroids. Okay. Pretty yeah, much. Yeah, yeah. Orange knows Sounds what I balanced. Mean. Yeah, it's like... <laughs> yeah, it's like... Bad. But, yeah, it there's... Really bad. Yeah, there's the whole mechanic of whatever acidic spiders are left over from that phase... Just from the paths, just from path two and three being open, like this is just as of this week coming from someone who failed at it. Um, you basically you can start Araxi off at full rage if there are too many spiders because she just eats all the acid 
and just suddenly... Nom nom nom. Fighting, yeah, now you're fighting this beefed up version of Araxi, which was an accident because you screwed up the last phase and it's punishing. But... Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it's You get spammed <laughs> even if you sent a picture in the chat. Oh my god. But, yeah, you basically get spammed with... um. Magic attacks and range attacks, even if you had a melee spawn, which, logic. Uh, and then <laughs> you have to dodge swipes, you have to dodge the the web heal, I think. Well, Araxor has that. I don't know if Araxi ever gets that, because I wasn't paying enough attention. Uh, I, th I think to, she might. Yeah, it would make sense. But um, she, she also has the web bind, which... The fact that you're prayer switching so much, you're not even going to start caring about when anticipation and freedom are being fired off. That just becomes really <laughs> trivial. Because the damage you take from that is nothing compared to what you end up taking just by failing at prayer switching. Yeah, um, and that's me. So I'm, like, eating, constantly yeah. eating every the single moment. Spam yeah, eating. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, that's basically me as well. So that's fun. And then I believe at 50,000 HP... Somewhere around that, yeah, she gets more enraged as it hits harder and faster. The more you, the more you kill her, so yeah, there's there's the rise of the sixth logic happening, but um, really just the Darok logic. But yeah, at 50k, she ends up losing all of Araxor's main specials, but starts pretty much hitting you like a truck, and then oh, somewhere yeah. Along, yeah, somewhere along the line, this black sludge kind of shows up. Apparently, as people figured it out, the recommended way of dealing with it, it bounces around five times, of course, the lovely rule of five, and it'll bounce to you. The idea is let it hit you, move a square, and then let it bounce around again and hope that you already have her dead by the time that happens. So Nice. The good old let it face tank and pray strategy. Yeah, basically... After a very long, crazy rant with Walter and just us agreeing that we were angry. <laughs> just, so we how just, does we're, that we're, make you feel? Ah, oh, bad. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. basically, to summarize, um, you go to the Raxor Lair, you pay an extraordinary sum, and, and then you're like... Get the crap <laughs> kicked out of you? What am I doing? Yes. And then you die. Pretty much, because a yep. lot of it... What I've noticed is, like, the people who are have been very successful, the gear is more... You're pretty much preparing for Araxi. Araxor is just a big front with just... There's attacks, and you just DPS down this 300,000 HP monster with all these phases. And then, really, you're just preparing yourself to have enough food left for phase four. Yeah, yeah. that's pretty much what it is. All I can yeah, say the, at least there's no phase five. Yeah. Oh, yeah, thank God, or else we would all be disconnecting. Um, but <laughs> Poor Virago. But, um, yeah, four parts of the weapon. You can't sell the weapon parts. Each path has one part. Global rare, yeah, sadness and aggression. Um, and apparently it's a 500, um, 500k average drop, 800k in theory. And that's yeah, considering yeah. that the... That the Instance fee is two hundred grand. Yeah, That's armor repairs. <laughs> not really a very good profit margin, considering how much of a pain this is, and how long it takes. Yeah, we're Walter and I are basically just saying like, well, the people who are doing the best as of right now are really just maximizing damage output and minimizing the damage they take, just using devotion and shield abilities and stuff like that. And really, the armor and the armor and weapons you use are kind of trivial because people are doing just as well in uh, chaotix and death lotus, just the same, just as well as the people who are using sirenic and seismics. Probably they're doing arguably better because of the accuracy and power armor. But yeah, it's sort of level across the board. If you can do enough damage, ignore the awful mechanics, just get get your butt through the fight and to phase four and just DPS. Like a psycho. Yeah. And Walter says yeah. if you're even if you're good, you're you're thinking like ten to fifteen minute kills, which is like two mil an hour at best if you don't get any parts. And the parts yeah. are technically untradeable, so they, there's no price value on those either. It's just kind of 
Well, how much is one quarter or however much of the um, of the full of the full drop? How much is it? Yeah, so it's it's sort of just a big huge pain in the butt, and really, it's not it's not particularly hard because of the mechanics. It's just hard if you don't know how to optimize your damage output. As in, like people who have been most successful, I've noticed a couple. A couple people who had unsuccessful kills and then later had successful kills, the biggest change was adding, like, a scrimshaw of cruelty and getting a good spawn. So it's really, like, just, you gotta have the anti-poisons, you gotta have the adrenaline pots, you gotta have the scrimshaw, you have to have all this stuff. You have to make sure you know what the heck you're doing and how stuff works. Cruelty is, um, bonus... Oh, which Uh, one is Bonus bonus range damage. Range, Yeah. 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 I wonder yeah, so how Koshai the Deathless would face in this battle. Ugh. This is, uh, I don't want to know. I, I don't either. <laughs> I don't want to know. I'd feel bad for him. Yeah. Alright, is there anything else that we mention, we need to mention about Araxor? I think we covered pretty much everything. Like, there's... It's... Yeah, it's a pain. Yeah, I I will say, like, I think a lot of people were kind of... When they said solo boss, I think a lot of people were sort of expecting, like, a really beefed-up QBD, yeah. sort sort of. Just QBD kind of fight, but with more movement and the same idea. Just except, certain different attacks, except it's just not. Except it's just you not. got necks, basically. Yeah, well, yeah, well, you basically got the game messages, the game message style of Actually, Virago. you got Virago. Yeah, you yeah, got Virago, the, not necks. The, like, it, it really just seemed like, let's see how many mechanics we can put into this boss... When in the end, a lot of it's kind of meaningless. Yeah. Like it, yeah. It's it's not great. My biggest complaint is really just the little things, just because like you read the acidity and rage levels as like basically aura timers at the top of your screen with little text telling you information that you really don't need to know. Yeah. You really just need to know how much damage you're doing. So it's and there's no color coded game messages. There's like you. Seeing how QBD is now and how pretty decent of a fight that can be, just you get a good message. Well, oh yeah, the only color coded game message is when the spider is attacking your grave. It's <laughs> it's lime green and it fires lime, off. Please. I think yeah, I, I think it fires off every single time the spider hits your grave. But um, yeah, yeah. It, in in the fight itself, there's like nothing telling you. There's nothing helping you. There's no visuals to really help you. There's just Apparently a big acid ball just went towards something and now bad things are happening. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> yeah, it's, acid. It's, it's, yeah, it's like the the biggest improvement would that I'd recommend is just for the people who really don't want to do this boss like spamming uh, kills times? and trying to farm it. Yeah. Yeah, people who don't want to spam the boss just at least give us a little bit of vision. Give us the visuals. Just, um, like, just say, Araxor's preparing a large sweep attack. Give us a, like, yes. Araxor's preparing, Araxor's preparing to drop a web. Araxor's preparing to weave you in whatever. Yeah. Like, just give us a little bit of help, cause we, cause it, it's the sort of thing where you get so angry at yourself because you can't count to five. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. it's, it's the sort of thing when you see yourself getting hit by a swipe, you're like, I, I can't count. I can't, I, yeah. mm. <laughs> One, two, yeah. four. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You basically you start like judging like, uh, oh, I didn't count that one. Is that two or three? Is that f- f- what? And uh, and then you get whacked, it's... and you're like, oh. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. for those who don't want to fight it, they still have to with the upcoming update in August. We'll we'll get um... to that in just a moment. In oh, fact, only... really just a moment. But yeah, yeah. So Araxor is a thing. Araxor is annoyingly difficult, annoyingly broken, annoying. I don't know what to call it. Like, it sounds it's, difficult in a very contrived way. Yeah, like, it, it's needlessly sort of, difficult. Yeah, it's kind of like. This is completely the, off topic, but I was screaming at you guys to listen to what I was going to say while my mic was muted. Well nice. done. <laughs> nice. Okay. But, yeah, it, it, in the end, it's really like, 
they tried to put all the mechanics, they tried to make them relevant, but in the end, it's still a DPS race. Yeah. And it's... It, people people do well. The boss is easy for a lot of people. The boss is hard for people who are like, but mechanics, though. This should be logic, though. Yeah. This is what the fight is, yeah. though. No, it's not. Nope. <laughs> nope. Wrong. Yeah, no. Everything you learned is wrong. But nope. Wrong. Yeah. Everything you know is a lie. Yeah, I'll, I'll freaking kill it one day, but oh well. Soon. Is that so, <laughs> World Guardian? No, it's not. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, wrong. Anyways. <laughs> Uh, Lime, you were going to say something, or you, is it past now? I was going to say something, and it's that I really don't like having to rage this much on podcasts. Like, we, that's, yeah. I feel like we've been doing that way too much. Yeah, it's, but, it's, it. But seriously, what, like, what is the purpose of this boss? Is it it's, there just to It's to, to kill give us? me a scythe. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's to no, give. No, no, no. It's there to taunt you. Yeah, that's true. Uh, that's yeah, to cause you a lot of stress and not to sleep at night because you think that you are not good enough for a boss that other people with worse gear than you are very good at. And oh, you I never I, get the connection. I have no qualms with me being bad at PVM. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. At least RuneScape PVM because I enjoy my logical PVM in other games. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just, Anyways. but as, as Lime was saying, I will personally apologize for the amount of rage, cause obviously it's a little bit biased just because I've never actually managed to successfully kill it, let alone get Araxi down past maybe 50,000 HP in a couple attempts, but so obviously a lot of it's probably like, well you're just bad. Yes I am and I'm aware of that, and obviously- <laughs> I have I'm, successfully I'm, dealt with this problem. Yeah, I, I have, I'm, I'm fine with that, and I've dealt with it through methods. <laughs> because reasons. Yeah. Shush. Um, but yeah, it's we don't like raging, but please stop breaking armor. Please stop breaking our bosses. Please stop we, breaking yeah. combat. Yeah, please. guys, it was fine. We didn't ask for any of this, yeah. though. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, it's pretty much like if and it's pretty clear. Like aside from what was the what was the thing we raged at a couple months ago? Because I don't think that one was combat related. Might have been though. Um, um, there was legacy that's mode's that's existence. That's well. This is before that, oh, and that is combat related. Uh, that was. I mean, yeah. But but a lot of the stuff that we've we've either got animated about. Oh, it was the ninja yep, fixes. There was that. Mm-hmm. It was the ninja yeah, and, fixes. And the mining potion nerf, which makes me sad still. Yeah, but I mean, but that's not that one's that one wasn't so much like an actual rant as it was like. Well, this is just stupid. But this yeah, is more just like why? Why? <laughs> but it, like the no, if for whoever is watching this, like we don't rage about things that don't. First of all, that don't deserve to be raged at. Like, but then on top of that, almost everything that we have problems with is combat related, and yeah. that should make you uh. step back and take a take a look at like okay. What are we doing with combat, and why is it? Why or why exactly why do so we great? have two combat systems, neither of which are good, both of which yeah. need some serious help? But because there's two of them now, there wasn't two of them before. Because there's two of them now, neither of them can get the help that they need. It's just like, well, it's just going to end up being an endless cycle of well, shit. Poor yeah, well, bosses, poor, poor mechanics, poor yeah. like yeah. It's it's and especially there's three different settings within one combat mode, and none of them like many people can probably agree that none of them are really fully balanced across the board for all the bosses, all the everything in the game. There there are many things that it's still like wow why am I one hitting this or wow why am I dying yeah it's <laughs> and it's it's Cat. so. <laughs> Poor cats. <laughs> they've oh, they've yeah. been. They, it's just pent up rage that they have done yeah. absolutely nothing for years now, and they so they are they have finally discovered the pleasure of hitting over a thousand, and they have done it. They have decided they are going to just do it constantly. They're going yeah, to do it until the day they die. Yep. Yeah. Before it was all bark, and now it's all bite until they get nerfed again. Yep. Like an addiction. <laughs> all right. Well, anyways, we should probably move on to the August BTS. Um, so, the important update is going to be Plague's End. 
I, honestly, like I wish I could, I would, I would talk about this more right now. But we've talked about this so much that anything we'd say now is rehash. Mm. Literally well, anything we say now is rehash. We've known this is coming. We've been excited about it. We have the Elf City behind it. We're looking forward to this. Um, it's the conclusion to apparently RuneScape's longest running quest series, which is 12 years. Um, 10 years which late. Is the length City. of Elf, Elf Soon. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. So th- we now have an official length of Elf Soon, and that's 12 years. Yay. Um, apparently you will be starting a revolution, completing light puzzles, seeking out lost leaders of the Elf clans, and coming face to face with the Dark Lord himself within the quest. <gasps> you get- That's Dark Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Super good. Um, we get a whole bunch of XP as a reward. Yay! Um, a special outfit that makes Black Ibis useless, perhaps. Oh. Uh, not oh. not sad that I didn't get it already. Um, and it's obviously a prelude to opening the Elf series, or to Elf the Elf City. Yes, it opens the Elf series. Yes, and uh, this the <laughs> finale of the Elf series opens the Elf series. Yes, and then the song <laughs> because Seer cast logic. Is, is this the evolution yeah. of metaphorical doors? <laughs> <laughs> can, can we tie it all back together with Dave the Spider with Osborne's face again? That was a great conversation. Moosborne, Moosborne. Yes, yes, um, Moosborne. We need, we need, we need more penguins. I yes. think quick question though. Um Does it involve there was, penguins? Uh, there was a talk a while back. I I, I we had like I, I it wasn't a discussion here, it was somewhere else, but the there was a talks about how uh if we like count the quests up to the two hundredth quest, if there was one randomly inserted somewhere along this timeline up until the two hundredth quest, then the two hundredth quest would land on the Zamorak quest. Is that still in play, or is that yeah, not? Yeah, pretty sure. If yeah. there is a random insert, that will happen. <laughs> well, there was, wasn't there supposed to be one this month, like before Plague's End, or is it always going to be Plague's End? It was probably always. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was just a random season. We probably got another one next month. Um, probably a much smaller one because there is that one that they've mentioned that we have no idea yeah. about. Yeah, we've got yeah. the, the no info one between now and the Elder Dawn thing. Yeah. Um, yeah, because I knew it was like there was random quests that we don't know about. I think like there was w- one that was a random insert. There's Plague's End, uh, the Elder God quest, and I maybe one more. I can't count anymore. Yeah, and I, don't, I think and, the, the one that we, they talked about. We explore what was it like Abana or no? What that was that was the um, rite of passage. I don't think that passage, one yeah. passed. Did it? Oh, that's nice yeah. here, I think. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Cause that's, that's the only other one that we kind of knew about, or they, we were told that there's an idea for it. Yeah, that was in its early design stages, and then it got voted down because of a poll, or it got replaced by something else, and then got the subsequently voted down. But, yeah. yeah. Eh. So we're not exactly sure what's coming up, but oh, well, there's quest the, wise. the Halloween quest or whatever. Oh yeah, we have that too. Yeah. Oh yeah. So we're oh. probably going to get some that the one we don't know about in. September, and then October will be Halloween, and then November El- would be the God, the Elder Gods. Elder God yeah, I, I guess. I guess. So when, so where does that place the two? Uh, what quest are we on? Uh, I whatever. Have no idea. <laughs> it's it's All I'm saying is, quest. It's Samar gets the two hundredth quest. What I do know is that the thousandth music track is coming out this month. Oh. Yes. Yeah, and, and that, that apparently. It involves Jagex singing, so <laughs> yeah. r- run for your lives. Hopefully, it's run not take me, take me back to port 2.0. Oh dear God, <laughs> no, please. <laughs> Who Sail the harder, world? guys. Anyway, anyways, <laughs> port <laughs> three <laughs> to sail. E- ports three sail even harder. Um, yeah. But yeah, so also this month is there's apparently clan stuff where you get XP boosts and. Okay. Um, there's a, the Barb Assault rework is happening this month as well. Lore books! Lore books! There is also Yay. a lore book confirmed by Mod Jack. Written, written yeah. by Mod Jack. Um, and uh, Kitten's favorite update. Actually, it's Walter's favorite update. Kitten is uh. just also 
A, a, I'm second in line. I, 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 oh. uh, the Soul Reaper update, which is basically Boss Slayer. Uh, this is, so quote-unquote, the update that officially makes the comp cape require a good connection and a lot of PVM skill. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Super bad. Since now we have two comp capers in this in this call, even though well, one Walter, of them does Walter's not talk. Close. He still has DG levels. Oh, he doesn't. Well, oh, he doesn't DG. have comp yet. Oh, not yet. Soon, and I've been neglecting him by not DGing with him. Wow. Sorry. Wow. So nice. <laughs> I'm, I'm bad. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Walter's like a day if he cared away from comp. Even so. I never DG that much. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's we'll, also we'll faster to... now than it was when you all DG'd. Yeah, I'll take him back. Okay, a, it's that much faster. Trip. What have I been doing? I I don't know, but um, the stuff. But yeah, it's <laughs> the boss slayer. It it forces you. It forces comp capers to beat Virago, Rise of the Six, and Araxor to get the Reaper title, which is a comp requirement, and then subsequently beat it, a whole, beat everything a whole bunch more times to get tr- the trim requirement. Uh, it's just, uh. it's, yeah. Yeah, I, mean, I mean, do we want to go into, like, just brief speak for the people, sort of? Sure, why, go for Why it. people see it as a problem? Yep, go for it. The, the main thing is really just the fact a big thing is the fact that it's being released in August. So you already see a lot of people starting up school yeah. around the same time it gets released. So there's a lot of people that I think are mostly concerned about time and internet connection. Because people with bad internet, Walter can definitely vouch for that. It's either like, move to a different location or who knows what. Somehow somehow defeat the boss. Because there, it's just lag at Araxor is like no, oh, no, you can't do it. Don't, don't even try if you have lag. Yeah, yeah, get carried basically. Yeah, get carried by a teammate somehow, which I still have no idea how that's gonna work. But you have to kill forty minions. No big deal. <sighs> yeah, 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 just murder forty minions and hopefully don't get eaten by the swipe attack. But yeah, most most people are concerned about time because a lot of comp campers now, like it's it's sort of the thing like after you complete the game, then you kind of go back to. All the other games you sort of neglected because there's not really you don't have any if you're not going for trim or any 200 mils or 120s you don't really have any like goals that you're gonna meet soon like you can't yeah. just go from 91 to 92 in a skill that's that's no longer a thing until inventor but that's a ways away that is so it's that it's is really elf like, soon yeah that is elf <laughs> soon that is but yeah people just don't have time to get the money get the gear get good get acceptable Get an acceptable skill level for a team. Go to the bosses. Try, fail, fail again, try again. Eventually beat it. That can take who knows how long. So it's it, and also just the forced teamwork aspect. A lot of people are really pissed about that because yeah. it it is so hard to find a Virago team without having to pay someone off. Didn't they say at one point that they were going to do away with that stuff for like questing? So how is it different for PVM situations? I, I like. Um, I honestly want to know the logic behind that because they had specifically said that they did not want to force people to to group up for quests. Well, yeah. Let's be honest. This is because it's a comp requirement. It's kind of the same thing. Yeah, I mean, it, like I can fully understand why, like. The on paper reason as to why it should be a completionist requirement, of course, kill every boss in the game at least one time in order to quote unquote complete it. That makes perfect sense. Yeah. But then once mm-hmm. once you start factoring in like how how the much logistics. time how much time it takes just to figure out boss stuff, how to actually go on a team and be successful and them to not care and not be worried if you have crappy gear. Like there's there's so many different things just between time in-game money and just the amount of effort, plus internet connection, computer quality, graphical it's also issues, a, stuff like that. It's also a it thing a with regards to it has the two bosses that have maximum party limits on it. And that's Araxor yes. and Rise of the Six. Like, yes. you can mass Virago, <laughs> and while it probably oh, yeah. won't go well, you can do yes. it. Like, you can it'll, bring it'll in be. 40 people and say, alright, we're just gonna we're just gonna do this. 
Yeah, it'll be a sloppy, sloppy kill, and you will lose half of your team if you just take a whole entire clan full of noobs in. Yeah, but you can do you, it. You'll kill it. Yeah, you'll kill it. It's 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 really it's still DPS avoid attacks, DPS scopuli, DPS who knows what. Yeah, but it's really it's not gonna. That you can literally just cheese the fight. But yeah, but Bots, you can't you do that for Rise of the Six. You can't do that oh, for no. Araxor. I just realized so. it's pronounced Rots. To my bad. Rots. <laughs> rots. It is Rots. 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 It's, yeah, I just call it Rots because I make fun of it. But um, yeah, it's just it's the craziness that is sort of taking something that was a trim requirement and shoving a comp requirement sticker on it now. Yeah. It's sort of just like. Oh, thanks. It's, it, it's. Thanks for yeah, that. It's, it, mm-hmm. Yeah, it's. And that's it, namely Virago and Rise of the Six. Those were both yeah. trim requirements, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Well, personally, poking Virago's eye out is a trim requirement. Yeah, it's a trim requirement. Same with completing Rise of the Six. Yeah. I assume that just living through a Virago kill counts as one kill for Boss Slayer. You I don't have yeah. to actually use. You don't have to actually use them all. Yeah, right? I, I would assume that. I think as long as like you get XP for the kill or whatever, then that counts. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's like it's it's still the crazy thing that I still have mixed feelings about it with because it's it's understandable why all this stuff was made a requirement, but the people who are complaining because they actually have connection issues or just don't have or they have work and school and stuff, they don't have the time to make all this money in game to get their gear upgraded, get on a team, all the like go through the massive checklist that still is high level bossing that people sometimes look at yeah. or don't think of because they're already at that level. Yeah, forum like, teams. <laughs> yeah, Good luck. yeah, basically. Yeah, it, it kind of turns into like, well, some of the complainers really aren't that wrong. Yeah. It's just people with legitimate issues. It's, it's a real, it's a, yeah, it's a problem and a lot of people are just like, well, I really didn't want to have to be good at EVM for this cape, but okay. Yeah. Crap. <laughs> well, I'm screwed. <laughs> GG. Yeah, well, but yeah. yeah. Bye, comp cape. Have fun. Yeah, regardless, <laughs> nice. like, yeah. Yeah. so regardless of what our thoughts on the trim, on the comp requirement are, I mean, maybe there's a chance that they'll make it trim, but who knows? I, I kind of doubt I, it. I doubt it too, but, um, your, the reward for boss slayer is, and their daily assignments, it's slayer XP, new gems that can be crafted into top tier jewelry, that will be far more powerful than Onyx gear. Still require Onyxes to craft, which keeps that price high, which is nice, I guess. Um, and you can update your bonfire health bonus. Um, <clears throat> the rewards, specifically, you have the Reaper title, and that's the comp requirement right now. Um, that's kill all bosses once. Um, you have the Aura Refresh, which set, resets the cooldown on various Auras. Um, Death's Deal, which reduces the degradation of armor by 50% on your next death. You have the tradable gems. You have the cosmetic override set, which requires killing 80 of each boss. Uh, it's, it's a little yeah. bit insane. I think it, it's like a thousand, I think just the gauntlets, I think we read it was like a thousand boss kills total with 80 of each. Yeah. I th- the, what I see here on the thread is that the gauntlets are 250, killing five oh. each. And the okay, crown, we saw it was, the last one, is... Whichever one was insane. It was just like, mmm. Yeah, it says that the it requirements aren't the shown, Hubbard. but the requirement is most likely 4K bosses and killing at least 80 of each. That's just yeah, it's, obscene. <laughs> yeah, whether, whether or not it's for the whole set, it's like, just imagine killing like 80 of each legion. Yeah. <laughs> um, 80 Araxors when people can't get more than 8 kills a day or 8 to 9 maybe 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 10 yeah. so that's already 10 days of work yeah. red loot beams um, are also a thing you can get further reaper assignments with slayer points uh, the bonfire boosts and the probably the most important one is honestly the instance cost which permanently uh-huh. reduces the cost yeah. of boss instancing by a full 25%. Honestly, I think that's the best reward of all. Cause that's, yeah. cause if you do a lot of bossing, if you're going for the full 4,000 bosses, like, oh my god, you'd be saving 
everything. Millions well upon it. millions on yeah. that, on just getting that instance cost with your first 400. Like, yeah. Yeah, and especially for people who have the same feelings towards bossing in RuneScape as they do towards bosses in Dark Souls. If you're constantly doing boss runs and dying and you have to pay for an instance... Oh, it hurts. Oh, oh it, it hurts. Yeah. I, I think, like, the first day of release for Raxor, like, I think Valor and I got pretty far. We managed to do relatively well without knowing anything. Still, five mil gone on instances and armor repairs. And, yeah, and supplies, right? Yeah, 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 and a lot of supplies, <laughs> even though I kind of got bruise the really noob way of just buying the three doses and using empty flasks that I had made. But, I see no eh. problem here. Yeah. No, it's, it's, seven, yeah it's 700,000 GP for 100 brew flasks as of yesterday. Wow, so. they're actually worth something now. <laughs> they're worth things. Wow. It's worth making them. Yeah. yeah. I never thought I'd see the day again. Alright, well that yeah, works. Exactly. Oh, yeah. No, no complaints there. But, oh, yeah. But yeah, like <laughs> yeah, interesting. It's hard to say, but we know we know that the things they have. We there's a Reddit post on it, and there's two different sets of requirements, and we can't tell exactly what each requirement is. But we suspect that it's probably a certain number of bosses, and then sometimes a certain number of points. It's a per- certain number of points or a certain number of bosses. It's one or the other. Yeah. But that's something we'll we'll check out when that comes out. Um, but aside from that, I believe that is everything that we needed to mention. Uh, we didn't go into Plagues and more, as I said, because everything is just rehash at this point. It is here. It is soon. Trademark. It is actually just barely over a week out which is really weird to think about um, yeah I would love to have done a podcast specifically on Plague's End like a pre-podcast and a post a pre-quest release and a post-quest release but um, everybody's gone next weekend <laughs> <laughs> including yeah. myself so that's unfortunately not possible so oh well we did have plans for like the Monday thing yeah. Like, like the end of, end, end of the podcast, listen to us plan session. Yeah, but yeah, the problem is... You know what we could do? We could do a Twitch streaming of us doing the quest. I've yeah. done that, and it's actually... Well, it, it kind of hurts. <laughs> internet? It, it, it drains the internet. It drains my internet, and it lags my computer. So I'd, I'd prefer to just... Do, do kind of what we did last time, which is we can post. We which can is, post heist. Do be in call and have it go to my YouTube, which is I, which I I I know that I enjoyed that quite a bit. Yeah, and we I could play. I was just spectating. Yeah, but I probably won't fishing this that time around. Yeah, but yeah. So <laughs> that's a thing. Um, we're looking forward to Plague's End. That's probably the next major update, and they said it was hinted at the 11th, I think, which is a Monday. Um, if it is that Monday, awesome. We'll probably do a podcast either midweek or that weekend, depending on scheduling things. But, yeah, so stay tuned for the next one, unless anybody has anything else to say. I believe oh. that is everything. Oh, oh hi. Hey. Uh, two things. We've got to do... Um, you've got to do a shout out, and I'm doing an announcement thing because I'm doing a shameless plug. Go for uh, it. Shout- I have shout outs too later. Go the for it. The first one is to Chaos Lupus, who has asked us to do a shout out, and here yeah. it is. You, you are awesome. The second thing is, yeah. yay, Chaos. Uh, I have completed writing my Fremenic Epic um, poem. Well, by the time it's posted, it'll be completed. I have hey. completed writing the Fremenic Legend, <laughs> the Legend of Drokar, so go check that out. Go, go, go. Yay. I'll actually just go. Okay, first. kitten or urge? Uh, urge, no. go. Nope, that's okay. I'm, I don't have anything. Shadow was already done. So. Oh, okay, fair oh. enough. Oh, okay, it was the same thing. <laughs> um, fun shout out to Balor, I believe it was Maxalicious, and Jensen M. They were very kind to go on a Cal Fight King trip, and we got a Drygor longsword, longsword, main hand, four man drop. That was cool. Uh, 
Valor was nice to go with me for a lot of very easy bosses for boss slayer, so that was cool. But funny thing to add about Calfight King, which I wasn't aware of, apparently a couple updates ago, or a few, it got the same Araxor-ish mechanic of when it spawns, it starts with a randomized phase. So you can start off with mage phase, and one of your team members gets KO'd the second they walk in the boss room. Nice. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh great. Sorry, Max. <laughs> <laughs> Rip. It's it's not any of our faults. It's the bad spawn. Uh, it's okay though. All right. Well, I believe that covers everything, and I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, pardon the rage, but I believe it is necessary at this point. Like we've had enough of the of the combat. Derpages, I guess we should call it, and we just kind of want it, everything to work reasonably properly. Um, but yeah, so we hope you enjoyed this. Uh, we will be back in a week and a half to two weeks for our review of the Plague's End quest. Hopefully it will be a positive one. I have, I have high hopes. Um, but yeah, that should cover everything, and we will see you guys next time. Goodbye. Right. Bye. 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 Bye